good for a dead man. Our resurrection does wonders for the soul. I loved writing that episode because it let me indulge my theatrical background. I have a lot more planned for you. <laughs> we really get to see Bracken Reed have to justify what he has done. Sometimes you have to bend the truth to get the results that are needed. I had the biggest day I've ever had on Murdoch Mysteries, line-wise. I did what I did to take a murderer off the streets. Now, if that makes me a sinner, I'll see you in hell. So I had to actually prepare that for a week in advance. I plan on making it right. I knew that everybody else would be on point, so I had to be on point, you know what I mean? But then again, I'm a professional English actor, you know. What can I say? Something's happened to him. It's all right, I promise you. Last season, there was a lot of Margaret on her own. She's always represented a certain part of the female population, and I feel like there's a lot more to that. Violet, it just feels like she's constantly going through it. We don't know which way she's going. We don't know what's gonna happen to her, and she's got some family problems. Murdoch is so mean to her in this episode. Justice will come for you. She's been through a lot. Of course, she loses Arthur, so it's a bittersweet situation. We wanted her to be able to come clean and have a clean slate. You wouldn't really shoot your daughter, would you? That's definitely been one of my favorites. I love really dramatic stuff. That was really great. We are two sides of the same coin. I really love Roger Cross. He is an amazing actor. He doesn't die at the end, so who knows? Maybe he'll be back. When you think you got it figured out, bam! Somebody comes back to life. Catch up with the latest season of Murdoch Mysteries every Saturday at 7 on Ovation.